Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the closing ceremony of His Majesty the King's Endurance Festival for the current season in the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Also present were their highnesses and excellencies at the end of the 160-kilometer race of the festival organized by the Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa crowned His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa as the champion of the 160-kilometer race. Second place was rider Nasser Al Ghathani from the KHK team, and third place was Muhammad Abd Samad from the Al Raoud team. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa also honored the companies and institutions that support and sponsor the festival at the closing ceremony. The president of Hungary, Katalin Novak, followed part of the race. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa extended gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for His Majesty's permanent or permanent patronage of endurance sport, which affirms His Majesty's interest in providing the best means of support for the continuity of endurance sports in foreign forms. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the winning riders in the 160-kilometer race, stressing that their high performance is an indication of their capabilities. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the role of companies and institutions sponsoring and supporting the festival, which confirms the keenness of the private sector to support the youth and sports sector and embodies its great role in contributing to the development of the Bahraini endurance sport.
The president of Hungary, Katalin Novak, accompanied by representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the chairman of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the horse racing meeting yesterday held on the race track of the Rashid Equestrian Club and race course horses in the area of Rafah Sakhir. The race was held for the cups of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his sons, His Highness Sheikh Shayma bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The race was also held for the Sakhir Cup and the Economic Vision 2030 at the end of the second Bahrain International Horse Racing Championship races. The race was attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the sponsors of the race and horse racing fans. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa crowned the winning owner with His Highness Nigel Jones Cup, while the winners of the cups were crowned for the sons of Her Highness, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented the cup of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the winning trainer Alan Smith. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented his cup to the winning owner Abdullah Fawzi Nas. Then Her Highness Sheikh Shayma bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented her cup to the winning trainer, Fawzi Nas. Then His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented his cup to the winning owner, Abdullah Fawzi Nas. While His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the cup of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Abdullah Fawzi Nas. The winners were also crowned in the last round of the second Bahrain International Horse Racing Championship, where Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, chairman of the board of directors of Batilko, presented the Sakhir Cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, while Salah Al Sharif, chief executive officer of the group, presented GFH Finance. Financial Economic Vision Cup 2030 to Mohammed Khalid Abdul Rahim. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Cup Club, affirmed that the success of organizing the Bahrain International Horse Racing Championship for the second year in a row constitutes a continuation of the qualitative shift witnessed by the sport of horse racing in the Kingdom of Bahrain and contributes to strengthening its prominent position on the global map especially in hosting and organizing international championships and races in light of the care and attention that this authentic sport enjoys from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the continued support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which contributed to the development of the horse racing sector through many qualitative development initiatives at various levels. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa's continued support for the horse racing sector and his sponsorship of today's race, noting his great efforts to promote the progress of all sports sectors in the kingdom in order to achieve the desired goals. His Highness expressed his pride in the good reputation that the Kingdom of Bahrain as well as the distinctive organizational and human capabilities and capabilities which constituted a major motive for continuing to organize the international tournament for the second year in a row. Especially after the impressive successes and positive gains achieved during hosting this year, which were widely praised and earned at the Kingdom confidence and great reputation in the international community of horse racing and attracted wide participation from stables, owners, riders, international riders and a group of international horses with high rating. The race witnessed the conclusion of a series of races for the second edition of the Bahrain International Horse Racing Championship which included 10 races with the last two international races with a large participation of horses from Bahraini and international stables. At the end of the race, the prizes for the three cars presented by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the winners of racing fans.
The president of Hungary, Katalin Novak, yesterday paid a visit to the site of the first oil well discovered in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which dates back to 1932. Upon her arrival, she was welcomed by the Minister of Oil and Environment Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Barak bin Dana, and senior officials in oil and gas holding company. The Hungarian president listened to a, a pre briefing on the site and how it led to the discovery of oil in the region. She met with a number of young Bahrainis working in the oil sector. She also paid a visit to the oil museum and got informed about its historical collectibles, which highlight many stations in oil discovery and related industries. The Hungarian president expressed her happiness about visiting the site of the first oil well in the Kingdom of Bahrain. She also praised the collectible at the oil museum, which underlined Bahrain's interest in documenting the important period related to the discovery of oil in the kingdom. The president of Hungary, Katalin Novak, and the accompanying delegation left Bahrain following an official three-day visit during which she held official talks with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on bilateral relations and friendship ties between the two countries and prospects of enhancing joint cooperation. Upon her departure at Bahrain International Airport, the president was bade farewell by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and head of the Mission of Honor, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, the Muharraq governor, the ambassadors of both countries and ministry officials. The second consultative workshop was held today within the plan to prepare the Kingdom of Bahrain for its second voluntary national review on achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, which targets civil society institutions. During the workshop, dialogue and discussions took place among the participants in order to highlight the achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain with the 2030 Agenda. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor bint Ali Al Khalif, Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, and Assistant Undersecretary for Community Development at the Ministry of Social Development, Ms. Mohammed Al Majid spoke at uh, the workshop. The series of consultative workshops comes within the framework of the joint keenness to highlight the efforts of the various institutions of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the public and private sectors, as well as civil society organizations, the legislative authority, academics, the private sector, and bodies supporting the women's file, in addition to youth in achieving sustainable development goals and aligning them with national strategies and priorities in accordance with the government program and Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 in line with international methodologies for the preparation of voluntary national reviews. The second VNR will be presented during the high-level political forum on sustainable development in New York City in July this year with the theme Accelerating Recovery from the Coronavirus COVID-19 Pandemic and Full Implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Belgium, Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabur Dosiri, presented his credentials to His Majesty King William Alexander of the Kingdom of the Netherlands as ambassador extraordinary and a plenipotentiary of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Ambassador Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabur Dosiri has conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to His Majesty the King of the Kingdom of the Netherlands and their wishes for continued health and wellness, stressing the importance of supporting and strengthening these strong relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of the Netherlands and continuing joint work in various fields to achieve the common interests of the two friendly countries, coinciding with the 50th anniversary since the start of bilateral relations between the two friendly countries. For his part, His Majesty the King of the Netherlands asked the ambassador to convey his sincere greetings to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister expressing his pride in the distinguished relations between the two kingdoms of the Netherlands and the Kingdom of Bahrain. He stressed the need to develop bilateral cooperation between the two friendly countries in all fields, wishing the ambassador success in his assignment. Bahrain's relief campaign continues to receive donations for the relief of those affected by the earthquake that struck both Syria and Turkey and caused severe damage to people and infrastructure and that more than $3.7 million have been raised in an incredible show of support from Bahrain's citizens and residents. The Ministry of Information and Cooperation with the Royal Humanitarian Foundation organized a national fundraising campaign to support the earthquake victims in Syria and Turkey. Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Zahina Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, said that uh, the campaign reflects the kingdom's unwavering stance towards brotherly and friendly countries in time of crises and humanitarian circumstances. His Highness affirmed the Foundation's keenness to provide permanent assistance for building people 
and the land, which has continuity in benefit and human development. The Royal Guard search and rescue team, and as part of its humanitarian mission, Arms of Relief Operation, was able to find and recover seven bodies from under the rubble in Hatay province, southern Turkey. The team continues its humanitarian relief operations with high morale and extends aid to provide the necessary support, assist the afflicted, search for survivors and recover victims according to the highest standards of safety and security. The team, has, uh, the team is dealing with the rubble and demolished buildings with high accuracy and professionalism despite the difficult weather conditions. The Royal Guard search and rescue team continues its humanitarian missions, arms of relief operation in the earthquake affected areas of Turkey, which resulted in finding and recovering survivors, injured and bodies from under the rubble. The Kingdom of Bahrain is renowned for its benevolent and humanitarian contributions, as it has always been a pioneer in extending support and assistance to all brotherly and friendly countries, especially at difficult times, which stems from the approach of its wise leadership, headed by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. And in light of the devastating earthquake that struck Syria and Turkey, Bahrain commissioned a search and rescue team from the Royal Guard of the Bahrain Defense Force to carry out a humanitarian mission in the afflicted areas and provide aid and support. The operation mission dubbed Sawa'id al ghaith the Arabic for Arms of Relief Operation, succeeded in finding and recovering survivors and bodies from under the rubble in the affected areas. And despite the tough weather conditions, the search and rescue team continued its humanitarian mission around the clock with high morale and professionalism in dealing with the rubble of buildings while applying the highest standards of security and safety during the performance of its noble mission. The valor and integrity of the search and rescue team of the Royal Guard enabled it to perform its humanitarian mission with unwavering determination, which sets an example of the caliber of brave men of the Royal Guard. Abdullah Shilbaya's hope of winning the Bahrain Tennis Challenger received a major boost in the event being organized by the Public Security Sports Federation in his quarter-final tie of this ATP Challenger Tour being held at the Public Security Officers Club in Gubaybiya. Shilbaya has tuned or stunned the tournament's number one Australian Jason Kubler in a three-set thriller. The 19-year-old Jordanian, who has a 399 ATP ranking, started the match well and managed to shock his Australian opponent who has a better world ranking of 79. However, the 29-year-old Kubler came back roaring in the second set, which he won to extend the match to a third and a deciding set. The final set was a neck-and-neck -neck affair as both players put in their best effort, but it was Shilbaya who prevailed with some solid performance and outstanding stamina to secure the set and with it the match and a breath in the competition semi-finals. The men's double semi-finals also took place yesterday as the pair of Gonzalez and Romboli defeated Djibavi and partner Omara to set up their final clash with the team of Niklas Salminen and Bart Stevens, who defended Areno and Wesson Bourne. Super happy, uh, pumped for tomorrow. Uh, it's my first final in the Challenger. Uh, I'm gonna give it all. I'm gonna rest, recover, do whatever is necessary to do to be able to um, give my best tomorrow. Uh, it's one chance. Uh, uh, I've had a, an amazing week, so I hope I can finish it well as well. Um, yeah, my game was good. Um, tough opponent, obviously. Struff is, is a very good player, but you know, I thought off the ground. Um, I played played my best match yet, so yeah, happy to be through. Oh, three. I have Christopher O'Connell, Jason Kubler, and Australian Thanasi Kokonakis. He's, he's really Greek, though. I love Bahrain. Uh, marhaba, shukran, and yeah, really enjoying the country. 